The Dimorphodon, a member of the pterosaur family. It is a fairly poor flyer, mainly due to its shorter wingspan. It relies on frantic short flights. Hi everyone, this is National Jurassic with a very exciting species field guide. Our first flying reptile. And it's one we haven't seen before either. The Dimorphodon. Of course, it is not surprising that these guys would be in the game, due to their prominence in the Jurassic World movies and cartoons. Like many creatures from the movies, they look almost screen accurate. Frontier probably has access to the ILM models that they use for the movies. Personally, I'm not that big a fan of their design, to be honest. However, I do love the coloration on these. With every new profile, I'm getting more and more excited about all the different skins. The hatching animation looks almost exactly like the one we had for the Pteranodons in our first games. Of course, just like land animals, these can now hatch together, which is pretty cool. In fact, I absolutely love how many of these we are able to put in one enclosure. With Dimorphodons, you really want them to swarm around and it looks like the game will deliver on that. Let's hope we'll see our first marine reptile next week. For more on Jurassic World Evolution and its sequel, you're in the right place. Like and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.